Welcome back here on Breakfast Television. Well, it's not long now until the three main party leaders square off in the 2020 BC Leaders debate that you can catch right here on City TV. Joining us now is Shachi Curl from the Angus Reid Institute, who is also the moderator for this debate. Shachi, I think the first question appropriate here is how are you feeling going into this? You know, um, I, I probably do have some butterflies doing a bit of a samba in my stomach, but uh, as uh, a legendary former news director of mine, Hudson Mack, giant of BC journalism, once said to me, you wouldn't be nervous if you didn't care. So, uh, look, as much as the leaders are prepping, I've also been doing quite a bit of prep work just to ensure that uh, BC voters get the best experience possible and they get the most out of this uh, as well. And so I've been working at that. They've been working on their thing and we'll see how it all goes. We'll hope for the best. There was a lot of criticism south of the border after the first televised U.S. presidential debate and a lot of that was directed at the moderator. Is that something you think about? Sure. Yes. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Um, you know, you had Chris Wallace talking about how he wanted to be invisible. That approach didn't work out so good. You had Susan Page trying to be a little more active, but uh, there's been mixed reactions to how she handled that. I'm quite aware of the fact that the supporters and strategists of all of the leaders are, are going to say, look, we want you, our leader, to win. As I say, I want democracy to win. I want this to be a good, clean, respectful vigorous conversation, but one that isn't sort of peppered by a lot of disrespect and a lot of sniping and a lot of interruption. My job is to traffic cop that the best I can. But I also don't want to be the clip coming out of the debate uh, tonight. I don't, I don't want the takeaway the next day to be about something uh, that I did. I think it really needs to be about the exchanges and the answers of the leaders. It's really, this is, this is one of the most unique election campaigns we've ever had. We've never voted in a pandemic before in our lifetime. So everything about it is different. And this debate, I think, is going to be really important because for many BC voters uh, who still have not returned their ballots yet, who haven't voted yet, they have not had the opportunity to um, to really get to hear from the leaders on platform. And I think this is going to be a crucial or a critical opportunity for them to do that. Who do you think has the most to gain here and who has the most to lose? That's punditry and that is part of what I do in my job. I, you know, a bit of political analysis, but when it comes to a debate that I'm moderating, I'm not gonna weigh in on that. I'll leave that to others. So the debate will last 90 minutes. What topics do you think are a must? What topics are you expecting to cover? Well, again, I don't wanna give things away for the leaders. Uh, we haven't shared the questions in advance, but obviously there are some big ones. Uh, whether it is uh, uh, housing affordability or, or basically cost of living in British Columbia. Obviously, we're not going to get through a debate without talking about pandemic response uh, or, or the trade-offs around the economy versus the environment in terms of how to build back. So these are the types of issues that we're going to be touching on, but I'm not going to get too detailed into the exact questions. All right, Chachi. Yeah, thank you and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Pray for me. Thank you. <laughs> we will. All right. The debate starts at 630 right here on City TV. Immediately following City News at 6, you can also watch on Omni TV and on our website, citynews1130.com, where we'll also present real-time reaction from social media. And, of course, we'll have all the highlights on City News at 11.